already ground up the ground turkey and I added pepper and lorry seasoning. There's really no big difference between ground beef and ground turkey as far as nutritional content is concerned. But I like to use ground turkey instead of ground beef in my enchiladas because ground beef tends to be greasier and it's just a greasy gooey mess when you do it that way. I know some people like ground beef. They like to put that in their enchiladas or enchiladas as one of my co-workers used to say. But I like to use ground turkey. I think it just has a better taste and it just meshes better. Let me know in the comments if you prefer ground beef over ground turkey in your enchiladas. I also make chicken enchiladas. So, but today I'm just going to focus on the ground turkey. I like these best. I got a cheddar blend, cheddar and Monterey Jack blend of cheese. I got the Stater Brothers brand. I love Sargento, but since I was making so many enchiladas and the Sargento, it was a little expensive. I'm not going to lie. I just went ahead and did the store brand. I know I pro probably won't like my enchiladas as much because I'm very particular about the ingredients that I use when I cook. And what I like, I like. And I tend to buy whatever it is I like, no matter the price. But this time, I, I would have been spending like $25 on cheese. And I was like, this cheese was $2.50 a pack. So I just said, you know what? Just let me go ahead this once and do the, uh, the generic brand. I got La Victoria. I used to use Las Palmas, but it's a little spicy. And I like red enchilada sauce for the ground turkey enchiladas. My I also like to use the Mission brand. The other brands are pretty cool too, but Mission holds up when you're cooking the tortillas. The other brands tend to fall apart. So I, I like, again, I like to stick with what I know I like and what I know is good. And I don't care what is on sale. Most of the time I would just buy the brands that I'm used to. My children, they prefer chicken enchiladas with green sauce, but I made those so much over the years. And I just love my red enchiladas with ground turkey in them. So that's what I'm making today. And I have green onion that I'll be also, I'll also be putting on the enchiladas. And I got some chopped olives that will also be going with the enchiladas. And I'll be making some pinto beans to accompany the enchiladas along with some homemade Spanish rice. Well, you'll see what I'm talking about homemade. <laughs> Now I'm just gonna do a light little fry of the tortillas just so they get softened on each side. If I don't do this, what will happen is the tortillas will break apart. I guess you can warm them up in the oven or the microwave if you decide to, but I like to fry them up. It brings out the flavor of the corn and the tortillas as well. Okay, so now what I'm doing is I'm warming up the enchilada sauce. I like it to be warm and a little bit um, thinner so I warm it up and then I dip each tortilla shell inside of the enchilada sauce before rolling them and putting them in a pan to go in the oven so you'll see that process as it takes place right now once it starts bubbling up then it's pretty much as warm as I need it to be so that's what I'm doing right now mm -hmm. So now let's go ahead and pour some sauce in our pan. Not much, just a little bit because you don't want your enchiladas dry. So put a little sauce in the pan. And then also what we're going to do is we're going to dip each tortilla in more sauce. Sauce, 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 sauce is the name of the game. And then what we'll do is add a little meat. Not too much because you don't want your tortilla shells to fall apart. And then we're going to add a little cheese. And then next, we're going to roll it up. Now I put the enchiladas in the oven. So now what we're going to do is go ahead and start our Spanish rice. Or... Mexican rice, I don't know, whatever you call it. I'm gonna add some butter to a pan of water. 
Okay, and now I'm going to add more sauce to the top because remember, sauce, 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 sauce is the name of the game. When these bake up, it's going to bake up so nice and in every bite, there's going to be a little sauce because that's what enchilada means, sauce over rolls of meat and cheese. <laughs> I just made that up. But anyway, yes, add some more sauce to the top. Because you... Yes, Barbie number two, I did say I just made that up. I did. Enchilada means lots of sauce on your tortilla rolls. <laughs> and add some more cheese. Enchilada also means lots and lots of cheese. So we're going to go in with more cheese on the top. And I have another pack of cheese, so I'll probably be adding most of that as well. That's going to have plenty of cheese, baby. When you bite into an enchilada, the last thing you want is a dry. That is pretty good. Okay, so now we're going to go in and add some green onions. My mother likes lots of green onions. So we're going to put lots of green onions on hers. These are for her. I never These tried are going to her house. Before. They are so good. I know you don't like trying new things if it's not a chicken nugget. I love chicken nuggets. Or a hamburger from McDonald's, you know. Ooh. Okay. I don't, I don't like them. This is turkey enchiladas, your fave. No, so now, I, like <laughs> I know you guys like chicken, but today is ground turkey. Now I'm going in with some olives, chopped black olives. I don't know what they do or what flavor they add, but they add something to the enchiladas. And plus it just, you know, it gives it more depth, you know? <laughs> so I'm going to top off the enchi. Cheese, meaning cheese, cheesy, lot of, a lot of sauce. Okay, in she lot of cheese and a lot of sauce. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> I also add nor tomato bouillon to my Spanish rice water, and I boil it together with the butter. Now you can also saute onions in butter, and then add your rice and saute that rice. Add the nor and water and cook it that way. But my success record with that is like, ugh. so what I'm going to do is do it the old fashioned way. Just add a little bit of tomato bouillon to the water with a little butter and it's going to come out so nice and fluffy and very flavorful. Right, let me get down here now. Mm, how good are they? Okay, okay. now it's 